Maya Makanji has climbed the corporate ladder to a top position in the telecom industry, but she wasn't content with that achievement. She's also passionate about giving others a better chance in life, and that quest took her to the summit of Kilimanjaro. Kriya met up with Maya to discover what drives her and ended up having an adventure. Maya Makanji has always believed that real success is measured by the positive impact you can have on the world. Her vision, drive and ability have earned her a place on the board of a number of major companies and NGOs, including the board of trustees of the Nelson Mandela Foundation. She made space in her diary for Kriya to meet her at the centre of memory. Maya, it's so nice to see you. Welcome to the Nelson Mandela Center of Memory. Maya, tell me a little bit more about the Center of Memory. Well, you know, Madiba's left such a legacy for our country. And as a foundation, obviously we want to share that with the rest of the South Africans and other visitors that come into the center. So the center of memory here has everything from video footage to manuscripts and documents that have been put together by Madiba to stories that have been shared by a number of people. And we also use the center for lectures. So we have a number of lectures that take place in our auditorium here at the back. And as you can see, there's a fantastic exhibition here on the constitution where we've had young people sharing what it means to them to have a constitution in South Africa and how they actually engage with the Constitution. And visitors also have the opportunity to see Madiba's office. And you know, when you go through there, although it's cordoned off, you can really see where he spent every day of his life whilst he was involved with uh, the center. It must be quite an honor to be part of such a prestigious board. Absolutely. I mean, I feel privileged, humbled, honored to be part of this board. And especially because it's about such a great man, Madiba. The legacy that he has left has touched, I think, every single person on this earth. Well, I definitely want to take a look around, so shall we take a walk? Absolutely, let's go. It's quite fitting that we're taking our first steps on our journey. Absolutely. <laughs> the exhibits have been carefully selected to present milestones from Nelson Mandela's life. Maya, I think we need to start with your beginnings. What was it like growing up? Growing up was great. I mean, I think when I was four, I decided I want to dance. So I did my first degree in India at the University of Mumbai, a degree in Indian dance, the Bachelor of Fine Arts. Uh, came back to South Africa and then realized, well, now it's time that I also earn an income. So I did a Bachelor of Commerce at the University of Natal. And when I finished that, I realized, hmm, I still have some energy to do a little bit more studying and was very keen to do my MBL, which is the Master of Business Leadership through UNISA and completed that as well. Uh, so I became a bit of a professional student for a while. <laughs> you were 17 when you went to India. That must have been something completely new and different. It was the first time I'd been to India and Mumbai is such a large city, a land of contrast. I learned something new every day and I think that shaped me. Where did your journey start in the corporate world? Started at a commercial bank, right at the bottom, moved through different departments in the bank. Also lived in Zimbabwe for a short while, so worked for a consulting company there. Came back to South Africa and then joined, you know, the telecoms industry. You have a wide variety of experience in your career. Is it important to have a wide focus and not be very specific? I think I'm the kind of person who enjoys variety. I thrive on change. I enjoy pressure, but I think focus is important in the areas that you're focusing on at that point in time. You know, be clear about your goals so that you get out there and achieve what you've set yourself out to do. As part of the Nelson Mandela Foundation, you did an amazing expedition to Kilimanjaro. Wow, it was absolutely fantastic. Why don't you join me on an adventure? up a little mountain, it's not Kilimanjaro, but certainly will give you a feel of my adventure and we'll, I'll share with you about uh, the Kili climb there. Well, I'm definitely up for the challenge, but I think first, we need to change our shoes. Maya and Kriya headed to the Henops hiking trail, less than 50 kilometers north of Josie. I'm so glad you agreed to join me on this little adventure. It really is beautiful out here. I should do this every day. <laughs> <laughs> this must be quite easy in comparison to your climb up Kilimanjaro. The terrain here is very different mm -hmm. to Kilimanjaro, but I think just hiking just makes you feel so good and so energized, seeing different places, getting in touch with nature, learning lessons along the, uh, along the way, because you do, you know, yeah. every climb and every task you take on in life is another mountain that you climb. Well, I think we should climb this mountain. Come on. <laughs> Tell me a bit more about your Kili climb. Well, first of all, I think it was just the most amazing, exhilarating, exciting and exhausting experience. Amazing because I think to be given this opportunity to climb the highest peak in Africa 
is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Exciting and exhilarating because as you climb and as you're moving from one day to the next, you're getting closer and closer to your goal. That sense of achievement and um, the desire to be part of something like this was just making me feel so fulfilled as I was going along. What were some of the challenges you faced? There's numerous challenges, but I think it's how you approach it. And do you see your challenges as something that you learn from in life? Or are there challenges that uh, you know bring you down and wear you down? One doesn't anticipate the cold. The altitude and the cold did in combination affect you and affect most of us. So I looked at it as an adventure, a privilege, as an honor. And I approached the mountain, I think perhaps differently to many people. I didn't look at it as something that I needed to conquer. I looked at it as a journey where I asked the mountain to embrace me, if that makes any sense. What would a typical day be like? Long walks, get up very early in the morning, wash yourself, you get given a bowl of warm water and that's it. In your backpack you'd make sure you have your water, some protein so you know most people would carry nuts because they stay and they're easy to access etc and you'd have something warm, your scarf, you, you do layer yourself every day. What was the summit like? When you arrive there I think all adults we just cry because of the beauty of the place, the sense of achievement, the camaraderie that you've had, the friends you've made over that period of time sheer bliss of being given this opportunity. You did this for a cause that's very close to your heart. Nelson Mandela was uh, very passionate about certain causes and the girl child I think in particular. Uh, so the Caring for Girls initiative is around ensuring that young girls have the opportunity to be educated. I'm not sure if you're aware of this career but today the girl child misses about 50 days of school per annum just because of her menstrual cycle and her inability to get access to sanitary napkins or education around menstruation. So part of what we did was to raise awareness around this. I think you've definitely given me the motivation that I need to finish our climb today. So shall we get going? Fantastic, let's go. What is one of the biggest lessons that you've learned from your climb? I think I learned that persistence really pays. You know, I'm a very determined person and I always knew that. Mm. But determination combined with persistence and most importantly, having a clear goal, irrespective of anything that's thrown at you. What is the message that you would like to leave with the youth of South Africa? Madiba said that sometimes it falls upon a generation to be great. You can be that great generation.